Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. PSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. Hello and welcome to the preview of uh, the next game, match number 7 between England and West Indies. England are the defending champions, having started with that loss against Australia while West Indies did trump post New Zealand in the first game of the tournament. Uh, we have Marina Iqbal and Julia Price with us. Um, Let's come down directly to that uh, preview head-to-head. -head. There are 22 games that have been played. 15-1 by England, 5 by West Indies, and 2 did not have a result. Who's going to start at favourites? What's what's the situation for tomorrow? Well, I mean, the West Indies played a fantastic game the other night. They played it. They had good composure, I thought, through the entire game. Um, they sort of shared around the runs a little bit. Quite a few people had starts. Obviously, Hayley Matthews going on and getting the big 100, as well as, you know, picking up a couple yeah. of wickets. I sort of think, you, you know, the West Indies have, up until now, they've been pretty quiet. They haven't quite hit their their sort of strokes yet. They're, they're ready to go, but they I think they've just held it off nicely to be timing it perfectly to come into this World Cup and, and really surprise a few teams. Really surprise a few teams. A lot of you have picked the West Indies as their dark horses. Marina, do you feel... Uh, they, they already beaten New Zealand. If they beat uh, England, they have a solid chance of making that top four. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, with West Indies, there is, it's not over till the last ball. You can expect anything. And that was actually reflected in the last game as well. So they've got those players who, again, are the match winners. And they can turn the game around at any time. And... And so, they'll have to take up the challenge. And that's even so with the English side as well. But with West Indies, if they can manage to bring their two or three players on the day in the game, they can take it away. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm counting on them. A very solid performance against Australia, but could not finish on that win. What is going to be the morale in that England side? And uh, how are they going to come and face a side which has already won a won a game against the host. Marina, you first. Well, I think, uh, yes, uh, England would uh, be obviously a bit concerned not finishing the game against Australia. But the best thing about them is that when one game is dusted, they come and focus on the other game. And that has been their strength. They come with, with a fresh mind, with fresh perspective. And against West Indies, I mean, they will certainly have done their homework. And they know that they slightly have an edge over them because West Indies at times can be very predictable and play one-dimensional cricket. But on the other hand, if you look at England, they are very well balanced, they are stable, they can understand it just pretty quickly according to the conditions and the opposition as well. We've seen that. that that's definitely the case. They are more of a team uh, that that does this. Um, I, I like a few words. I like the word unconventional. I'll agree to that. I like the word extra push. I'll agree to that. But I am a little concerned with that word all round. Uh, because, Julie, I'll just come to you here. That top order, that opening slot for England is is, is really a problem now. Beaumont really plays well every game. Knight nearly opens for them every match because you, you your other opener... Has, has been a problem. Your knight comes in whatever, third or fourth over and she's literally opening every time. Do you feel it's now time that England do that big necessary change, either get Wyatt or Lamb or Jones at the top of the order and do that necessary change or do you want to still see Winfield Hill get a few more games uh, at the top of the order? No, I, I think it is time to, to change. They did a little mini change at the end of the ODI series in, in Australia where um, Emma Lamb came in for Lauren Winfield-Hill and she got cleaned up second ball by Elise Perry and probably showed a, a, she's probably not quite at the level at, at the moment. Yes, it was her first game and she was probably nervous, but just played far too in front of herself and it, just a technique I didn't think would hold up at this international level. Difficult to judge someone from two balls? Mm, no, 
I think uh, I think that's the the point. I think she's clearly got talent, um, but I, I, I just think she's not right at the international level right at the moment against a team like Australia. She might get an opportunity against a perceived lesser team, maybe. Um, but again, that's up to the, the coach Lisa Kitely to have a look at. But personally, I feel what they could do because at the moment they've only got five bowlers, and I know that Heather Knight's really comfortable with the five bowlers that they're using, and she's like that backup if they need another one. But I think it'd be really good for them if they could, if they take out uh, Winfield Hill and then shift around either White or Jones, then it actually opens it up for someone else to whether it's a Freya Davies or whether it's a Charlie Dean. Um, I think both of them are really good options, again, depending on what they feel the, the wicket provides for the, whether it's a pace bowler or whether it's going to be that spinner. Um, I like the Charlie Dean option because she is a little bit of an all-rounder and it does lengthen their, their batting order a little bit. And I, and I nearly think I would possibly go with Danny White um, at the top of the order because I, and, I, and give her a free licence because we know how good she is in the T20 game when she opens uh, and she just hasn't been able to, to convert any of those scores in the middle order. Um, so uh, I'm more confident that Amy Jones will, you know, come in at around a five and, and be able to get a, a good 30 or 40 as opposed to Danny White who could throw the bat early, get them off to a great start. And, uh, you know, that's what England need is to give that breathing space a little bit for, for Nat Siver and, and Heather Knight. Julia Price really wants to see why at the top of the order perform the role um, that uh, Healy does uh, for them, uh, for Australia, uh, getting a Charlie Dean or a Freya Davis. Both were in her breakout stars for the tournament. Uh, she really wants them to get games uh, there. Uh, so that's what uh, the England composition should be. When Pridil should finally be dropped is what Julia Price says. Uh, but that's for tomorrow. Let's move on to that uh, location during in both times. Bangladesh played uh, New Zealand and South Africa there. The scores have been low. Is it just because it was Bangladesh or do you feel that the wicket in Dunedin does not suit and we are again going to have a low scoring game tomorrow? First to you, Marina. Well, I think uh, it's a bit of a surface as well, but again about how the execution is done. Uh, it also depends on the equation of big shots versus strike rotation. I mean, the bigger teams actually do rotate strike and then they tend to put away the bad balls as well. So it also has a lot to do with the mindset of the batters. And again, uh, I think the surface has been not up to the mark, probably a bit on a slower side. But yes, I think again, with West Indies and England playing, you can expect score to go, go a bit higher. Score to go a bit higher. Julia, that's, that's the same that you feel? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think early on, it's it's got something in it, um, sort of for, for the first ten or so overs for the for the pace bowlers. The the grounds have all been redone, so it is a little slow across the ground. But at the same time, both of these um, teams like to hit a, a lot in the air, so that sort of takes out that um, that issue there if it's it's loving, uh, traveling slow along the ground. West Indies come from a win, England from a loss. Let's see what happens tomorrow when the when both the teams face each other in the only game tomorrow that starts. Early hours, I think it's 11 o'clock uh, New Zealand time. See you then for the pre-show between England and West Indies.